Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin ve salatu ve selamu ala eşrefil enbiya vel mursalin ve ala alihi ve ashabihi ecmain ila yevmi din amma ba'd The ideology, the concept, the bunyad, the basis of other civilizations who claim to give human beings, humanity, rights, are most of the time wrong. They give you freedom, but no real freedom. They have created rights, but they abuse rights. Their system, if any, goodness was in there, then it has been extracted from Islam. So through deen, no matter which type of people the worst became the best. Batil, falsehood and their systems without deen, even if they have the best system, it can create the worst of people. They will have systems of justice, but no justice, complete injustice, complete inequality, complete with no fairness, impartiality or justice. They will have systems of laws, but it will be lawless, no laws whatsoever. So it will be lawless. There will be anarchy, there will be outlaws. They will have systems of peace, but society will be in pieces. They will have systems of comfort and luxury, but their lives will be filled with grief and torment. They will have all the systems of peace, but people will be in misery, in anguish, they will have systems to give life, but everybody will wish for death. Everybody will wish fatality, mortality, casualty, downfall. So, Deen is the only system on earth which was, is engineered by Allah Rabbul Alameen Tal Qiyama, which is the solution for humanity. Alama ibn Kathir has mentioned about uh, Shabi saying that uh, I heard Ibn Masood radiallahu anhu say the most comprehensive ayah in the Quran is in Surah Nahl. Inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsani wa ita'i dhil qurba wa yanha anil fahsha'i wal munkari wal baghi. Allah commands justice, doing of good and giving to your kith and kin. So Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enjoins, Allah orders justice and kindness. So Allah is commanding His servant to be just, to be fair, to be moderate, to be reasonable, to be impartial, to be unbiased, to be fair-minded and encourages kindness and good treatment. So different ayat encourage not only equality but taking the extra step. So somebody does something, if you punish them, then punish them the like of that which you afflicted. وَلَئِنْ صَبَرْتُمْ لَهُوَ خَيْرُ لِلصَّابِرِينَ But if you are patient with them, then that is better for those who are patient. Likewise, the recompense for an offense is an offense like thereof. فَمَنْ عَفَى وَأَسْلَهَا فَأَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ But whoever forgives, whoever re reconciles, then his reward is with Allah. His reward is with Allah. So you got an opportunity to execute, to take revenge, but reconciling 
settle in the matter, resolve in the matter. Likewise, a wound is equal, equal. Well, juruh qisas. فَمَنْ تَصَدَّقَ بِهِ فَوَكَفَّارَةُ اللَّهُ Even when remits the real deliation by giving sadaqah charity, there will be an atonement for him. So different ayat are highlighting not only justice but going the extra mile. And equality on all levels, equality on all fronts, whether it's systems, whether it's background, whether it's, 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 it's color and creed. That the Western society is uh, overwhelmed with the injustice when it comes to color and, and giving preference to certain ethnicities, etc. Ya ayyuhannas. Inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha. We have created you male and female and made you tribes and families. Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqakum. So you have tribes, you have families, you can recognize each other, but the most honorable ahu wa most cautious about the commands of Allah, the most Muttaqi, the Allah fearing. So Muqatil has mentioned that uh, on Fatih Makkah, the conquest of Makkah, Nabi alayhi salatu was salam instructed Bilal radiallahu an to climb the roof of the Kaaba and give adhan. So Attab ibn Asid said that uh, uh, praise to Allah that Allah has taken my father away and did not see this day, na'udhu billah. Harith bin Hisham also said, did, did Muhammad not find any other caller to prayer except this black raven, Nauzubillah. So Ibn bin Amr said, Allah walin, he will change him. Abu Sufyan on the other end, he said it, I'm not going to make any comment. I'm, I'm afraid Allah from the heavens will divulge what I say. Then Jibreel alayhi salam descended and informed Nabi alayhi salam about their conversations. And when he asked them, they admitted it. And these verses were revealed as a warning against boasting about lineage, wealth, or looking down upon anybody. So Islam has come to bring real justice, real equality. And uh, the West in the name of free freedom has made everything permissible. Same sex marriages has become permissible. Marriages with animals, Nauzubillah, marriages with animals is becoming legitimate. So their systems is corrupt because man has mapped it out. And the system of Allah, like how Allah is perfect, the laws of Allah are perfect. So whether we have uh, ibadat, whether we have mu'amalat, whether we have mu'ashara, etc. Whether it's a social interaction, whether it's a business interaction, whether it's uh, transacting with people, human rights. And uh, this is found in deen. The real human rights and liberties are founded on deen and that's based on Iman. So Allah has honored us, Allah has favored us with this deen because we are fortunate. Somebody could have been somewhere in the world worshipping a cow, drinking the urine of an animal, worshipping an idol, etc, etc. But the fact that a person has been given this understanding and has been made the vicegerent of Allah and no other creation has such sovereignty and has such honor like this in sun. So the scholars in the book of jurisprudence fiqh and uh, siyasa, sharia and Islamic law and hukuma etc. Details 
have been documented about the rites in every aspect. We go back in history, the Romans made religion subject to the state, Christianity separated religion with the state, but Deen is the ultimate. And uh, the scholars have, have, have classified these laws into four parts. One is Hukukullah, the rights of Allah. Secondly is Hukukul Ibad, the rights of servants. Third, where both rights are present, but Allah's right is predominant. For example, Hadir Qazaf, so slander, the punishment for slander. And number four, both rights are present, but the servant's right is predominant, like Qisas, which is legal retribution. So, this uh, third and fourth preserves a person's life, his mind, his health, it protects him, he protects uh, his freedom, it uh, prevents his oppression, it protects his wealth, it uh, prevents self-inflicted harm or loss, and uh, the, this, this is وَلَكُمْ فِي الْقِصَاسِ حَيَاتِ There is, there is, there is uh, savior, there is protection, there is life, and these dominant factors which has been identified and prescribed by Sharia is, is important. And uh, that's why Batil will find, falsehood will look and search for every reason, reason to find fault in Islam. يُرِيدُونَ لِيُطْفِئُوا نُورَ اللَّهِ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ so they will seek, they will uh, try to make Islam look bad. We should not get caught up. We shouldn't get caught up in the circus of Batil. A, a, a student in college, uh, in, in, in school, in a philosophy lesson, the, the professor was an atheist. So the first day of school, he started the lesson saying that uh, students, is there anyone here who can see God? If so, raise your hand. If anyone can hear God, raise your hand. If anyone here can smell God, raise your hand. So there was no response from the students the first day of class. What's the purpose of the teacher? What he's trying to say? Then he concluded, since no one can see, hear or smell God, there is no God, no the Billah. So then one student, Allah inspired the student, raised his hand, permission to address the class, which is no problem. Then he said, uh, can anyone here see the professor's brain? Everybody said no. Can anyone here hear the professor's brain processing everything? He said no. Can you smell his brain? They said no. Then after uh, a short pause, he said, since no one can see hear or smell the professor's brain, it appears he has no brain. So they will try to justify, they will find false and look for reasons. But we have to bring Iman in Allah and His Rasul and we have to abide by it. It's not just by the tongue only, but practically apply it in our lives. So we should believe while others are doubting. We should plan while others are plain. We should study while others are sleeping. We should decide while others are delaying. We should prepare while others are daydreaming. What is daydreaming in their own world? We should prepare, begin while others are procrastinating, work while others are wishing. They've got dreams, but they're not working for it. Work, strive, whatever your target, your ambition is, Work for it, for the Akhirah, Jannat al-Firdaus, the company of Nabi Alayhi Salaam and Sahaba. Save while others are wasting. Listen while others are talking. We like to talk more and practice less. Listen more and practice more. Smile while others are frowning. Comment while others are criticizing. Persist while others are quitting. وَعَبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Tell your last breath. Don't give up, observe while others are neglecting, capitalize while others are 
surfing the internet people are busy so capitalize don't get caught social media television etc obey while others are sunning obey while others are sunning so we should not get caught in uh, this circus so so dean has identified these hukuk and these uh, rights so and amongst the hukuk with regards to the creation one is a individual's right towards another individual like example the husband has to provide for the wife the the rights of the neighbor etc then an individual's right to the to the collective to 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 everybody else so the poor on the public treasury the the right of uh, movement the right of consultation the right of equality the number 3 a collective right towards an individual so the public treasury is obliged to pay uh, the 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 money of zakat it comes to the people that are worthy of it feeding the hungry etc etc and then collective right towards oneself which is uh, the 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 duty of the state uh with regards to public public services so these are in hukuk and in different situations deen is so detailed so detailed if we go into what the fuqaha have discussed and how much detail there is and how fortunate we are that we have this detail is a great bounty of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take for example uh, nikah so it's a simple thing but the fuqaha have gone into detail let's say somebody is able to marry and he's sure he will commit fornication if he doesn't get married then nikah is farz on this person now he is able to marry he fears he may commit zina it's 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 a fear it's not definite is doubtful then to get married is wajib thirdly a person is able he is upright he does not fear any uh, fornication all these uh, uh, circumstances are when somebody is not married then uh, for him it is mandub it is rec- recommended this advisable somebody who is sure if he gets married he will be unjust to his spouse and he will fail the uh, fulfilling the rights then uh, nikah for this person is haram because he's sure he will oppress them but if he fears means he's not sure it's a possibility is doubtful uh, that he will uh, oppress the wife then uh, nikah is makru it is just like for this person so we have to we have to identify and uh, have yaqeen that all my solutions are in deen deen identifies hukuk so firstly we need to go to the ulama and learn all these masail the person is getting married whether he, uh, what's the hukuk of the neighbors when you're doing business uh, social interaction uh, monetary dealings this this hukuk are discussed in detail so Till our last breath, we should be students and should be learning Deen all the time. It's never ever a time that a person can say he is knowledgeable, he's a alim, he he knows everything. Even great great scholars and ulama consider themselves students. And if you look at the justice system of 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 of, of batil and and falsehood, then go in history and see how much justice and how much. injustice they have committed how much uh, zulm how much oppress, oppression has been committed uh, look through uh, the annals of history and we will find that it's filled with uh, prejudice and inequality and complete discrimination look at the crusaders uh, around 1095 1291 3 million deaths and go now recently 1914 to 1918 the allied powers the allied powers they call themselves allied they lied a lot so uh, around 40 million 
plus casualties. So were the murderers. Can you imagine 40 million people? Then uh, the largest and, and deadliest war ever noted in the world was World War II, 1939 to 1945. Again, the liars, the lied, allied powers, 1939, 1945, 80 million casualties, means deaths. Then uh, in between, whether it was the Algerian War, 1.5 million, the Vietnam War, 4.3 million, Afghanistan conflict, uh, 2.5 million. We're not getting even into the injustice in Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Bosnia, the, the, the different carnages that happened and how human rights were broken. So Dean is complete. Deen is Kamil, Deen is perfect and we need to understand that uh, we need to come out of our circle of dunya and uh, our agendas and our different objectives, everybody is doing their own thing. I need to come what Allah and His Rasul have incited me to do, I have to come on to that. So, uh, there was a company that uh, that needed a uh, officer uh, in, in dealing in, in, in small instruments. It is a very uh, simple job, let, but prestige and very high salary. So the applicants arrived for the interview and while they were waiting for the interview, they started drinking coffee and getting them busy. There was all refreshments there. So they all got very noisy. There was one person who just sat quiet, paying attention and waiting. So, out of these sensitive instruments, they made an announcement, a light, we would like to recruit the person who has a quiet nature and keen observation. The person who can hear this instruction may come in and take the recruitment letter. So nobody heard the announcement because they were uh, busy in the cup shop, in the entertainment, busy chatting away. So he went in, they handed him the certificate of employment and as he left and everybody seen him coming out of the room with the certificate an announcement made that now everybody can leave so it was a big chaos there was a big uproar and said but we didn't know about it how come so they kept a recording of the time every person came till this ended and then they realized they were in the wrong. So like how the announcement was made. Anbiya alayhimu salam have come to make the announcement. Nabi alayhi salatu was salam had made the final announcement. There are some people who are paying attention and when Quran and a hadith are read, they pay attention, they follow the instruction. They go into the office of Allah and secure the contract for Jannatul Firdaus. So it should not be while these announcements are going on, we are, we are caught red-handed in ghaflat and negligence. So Deen is Kamil in all aspects and hukuk have been discussed in detail person has to go in it, we need a lifetime just to go into the details of how much the fuqaha have highlighted hukuk. And let's just take for, a, uh, for example, a person is desirous for ample provisions and everybody wants their life prolonged. What did the Nabi of Allah say? Man ahabba ayyubsata lahu fi rizqihi wa ay Whoever desires ample provisions and his life be prolonged should maintain good ties with his relations. So simple solution but who's applying the seer? Likewise Ma akramashab shaykhan Ma akramashab bun shaykhan li sinnihi illa qayyad Allah lahu may yukrimuhu inda sinnihi 
anybody, any youngster, any youth who looks after an elderly person, Allah subhanahu wa will appoint somebody to look after him when he is elderly. So as you do, so it shall be done upon you. Again, hukuk. Deen is highlighting hukuk. To such an extent that a person could put hatta ma taj'al fi fami imratika in the mouth of the wife, a person puts a luqma of food, a morsel of food, you will get a reward and it's considered as sadaqa, looking after the wives. Inna akmal al mu'minina iman and ahsanum khuluqan. The person whose iman, the criteria of complete iman, is those whose character is the best. Wa khiyarukum khiyarukum li nisa'ikum. The best among you are those who are best to their wives. Law kuntu amiran ahadan li. Now, if I had to encourage anybody and command anybody, a yes to the ahadin to make such a so to somebody, la amartu al marata antas to the li zaujiha. I would have commanded a wife to prostrate to the husband. So both have been told fulfil the hukuk. A person is protecting his wealth. Man quti la duna mali fahu a shahid. That is the death of a shahid. Somebody. Who is protecting his deen? Man qutila duna deeni fawa shaheed, reward of a shaheed. Man qutila duna damihi, protect your life fawa shaheed. Protect your wife, protect your children, protect your family. Wa man qutila duna ahlihi fawa shaheed, the reward of shahadat. So again, uh, fulfilling the hukuk and fulfilling the rights of everybody else, Nabi alayhi salam had come to complete this character. Sil man qata'ak, somebody breaks his eyes, join it. Wa'afu man zalamak, somebody oppresses you, forgive them. Wa'asin ila man asa'i ilayk, and somebody does bad to you, you do good to them. So Deen has come to perfect our lives in this imperfect world. The amal for today is that when go into the sufuf, then to start from the right, then you go to the left, right and then left. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala mayaminis sufuf. Allah the farishtas sends salutations on the right side rows. May Allah give us sufiqa miki na'mal wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.